Well, I thought I heard someone upstairs. Shh. What are you doing? Moving out, Miss Kay. Why? I've been in your hair long enough. Oh, nonsense. Here's a month's rent. You don't know that. I want to help out. Are you leaving because of what's happened with Al? No, I'm, I'm just moving out. Charlie, is there something you're not telling me? Not really. Has someone been talking to you about Al? Yes, ma'am. Did someone threaten you? Not exactly. Who was it? I'm not supposed to say. He was from Washington. Someone asked you to spy on Al. No, don't say anything. You don't want to be put in the position of having to lie. I'm not a fink, Miss Kay. Anyone that knows you knows you can never be. Where will you stay? At the Y for now. There's no such thing as a vacant apartment in this town. You know, Charlie, I would prefer it if you stayed here. Friends spied on us and told them the truth. Told them everything you saw here. What a... What a kind, decent man he is. All they want to hear is that he's not a red. You're doing the honorable thing. Will you be at the party Thursday? If I can. Gina will be there. I know. Well, happy anniversary if I can't make it. Never heard Al mention the word communism. Never even said the word? Not that I heard. I mean, he might have said the word, but never advocated it. Not that I heard anyone. They don't usually come right out and say it. Well, Al would. Al comes right about and says everything he believes. And he'll talk your ear off. Except when it comes to denying the accusations against him. Then he's mum. Well, I, I can't explain that. Have you ever heard him talk about any ideas like the uh, redistribution of wealth? Hey, who wouldn't be for the redistribution of wealth but put more tips in the tip jar? Yeah, well... That was a joke. <laughs> it might be funny. To a fellow traveler. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe you agree with what the communists say. Maybe you think they make some good points. Jeff Metcalf has never said anything about communism, ever. You both went to Hollywood? We want a, a screen test. Are you aware that there is a significant subversive element in the Hollywood community? No, sir. Do you have any personal friends in the movie business? What if only I did? No, sir. Who did you stay with when you were there? In a hotel. Alone. I didn't get a job, so I came back home. Mm -hmm. Are you still in contact with anyone in Hollywood? No. I understand that you're also personal friends with a uh, Linda Metcalf. She's my best friend. Are you aware that your best friend was the first person that Al Kahn recruited when he came to River Run? He recruited me to join the Union, not the Communist Party. So, you're not a communist, Miss Metcalf. Are you, Mr. Smith? No. And I'll tell the world I'm not. And that's your choice. It's my choice not to answer the question, as a matter of principle. That's what Al Kahn said. Is that right? I've been reading your articles. You sometimes seem unhappy with our uh, free enterprise system. I did say the short-sighted attitude of the construction industry has exacerbated the housing shortage. Does that make me a communist in your eyes, Mr. Smith? I don't know, Miss Metcalf. But you use the word materialism here. What did you mean by that? Well, you got one right here. Why don't you ask Mr. Havel about my word choice? He's the editor who approved and published the piece. Okay. Best coffee I've had in this city. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long day. I gotta go. It's good to take a load off. Well, you come by any weekend, the coffee is always just as fresh. I don't expect to be here long. Not sure I'd like to live here. I read that uh, folks around here tolerate reds. Talking about the Union local? You don't think he's one of Stalin's boys? No, it's just hearsay. Is that so? You can't believe everything you read in the papers. You don't believe in the communist threat, Mrs. Davis? But how do you know my name? I understand your son Robert helped Al Khan organize Local 311. The only reason I joined Local 311 was because my husband forced me to. Did he threaten you with violence? Oh, oh no. 
I, I only meant that I was taught you had to please your husband. I would never have joined of my own accord. I was very skeptical of the union business, but... But Charlie felt that if I heard Mr. Khan speak, then I'd change my mind. Did you? No. Why not? Mr. Khan was very critical of my employer, whilst I, on the contrary, felt very fortunate to have a job and bring home a paycheck. Did Mr. Khan also criticize our government? Oh, yes. He said that the workers weren't being taken care of. Did he suggest any solution to the problem? He thought the whole country should have health care and pension plans. He sounded quite the socialist, if you ask me. As long as he worked here, he never mentioned communism or socialism. Did he ever mention Lenin or Marx? Maybe Groucho or Harpo. He didn't like Zeppo. Do you consider the communist threat a joking matter? I work in a bar. I've overheard people talk about communism and socialism and little green men from outer space. I always thought talk was free. And we want to keep it that way in this country. Amen. And while you're at it, if you want to hunt down some bad guys, why don't you talk to Mike Sloan? Ask him why he made the allegation, what he's covering up. Why don't you and every other snooping reporter and public official insist that the Sloans come clean? They violate more laws than you'd recognize in a month of Sundays. And nobody's doing anything about it. As a reporter, I have an obligation to inquire about your purchase of the land. We are eager to clear the air. We bought the land that became Heritage Village. How long ago was that? What, eight years ago? Ten, I think. We can look it up for you. Uh, we sold it not long after we bought it. During the war, Michael Jr. was, you know, a decorated veteran of the last war. I'm sorry about his death. Why did you buy the property back? While he was still alive, we remembered how much he loved hiking in that area and impulsively, wishing he were safe at home, we bought it back for him. Shortly after his death, we transferred the property into our granddaughter's name just as if she had inherited it from her father. But you also transferred the title several times after that. We never dreamed an act of generosity would come back to haunt us. When we saw the enormous need for decent homes for returning veterans... I'm feeling absolutely certain that our son would have approved... We decided to build homes on the site. So we transferred the property out of our granddaughter's name so she wouldn't face liability. What about the later transfers? We can only operate with the best legal advice available to us, which we did. The deplorable complexity of federal and state tax laws. You tell me why they can't be simpler. Made subsequent transfers unavoidable. Which in turn resulted in accounting adjustments that were inappropriate. That accountant has been fired. And our books have been open to the authorities. Unfortunately, there are people cynical enough to see intrigue in these transactions. There's nothing we can do about that. But we can build these homes. And we are determined to do so. Consequently, to avoid further disruption, we have asked the National Labor Relations Board... ...to decertify Local 311 because it is infiltrated by members of the Communist Party. Did you see this, Anne? Yes, Father. And the part that said his ex-wife admits she's a communist? Yes, Father, and I also read the editorial favoring loyalty oaths. Uh, where should I put these? Uh, over there, honey. It was very kind of the parish to loan us the folding chairs. Not at all. Anne, Anne, this mentions your husband by name. Yes, Father. How can that be? Hey, that's one of them. Are you sure? Positive. Shh. Help me out again. And you do realize that when someone enters into a marriage contract under false pretenses, those pretenses present moral and legal impediments to that contract. Your leg injury seems to be completely healed, Jeff. I'm working on it, Father. And. Given these circumstances, you may well have grounds for an annulment. I could never. You must remember that in the eyes of the church, you have done nothing wrong. Neither has Al. Are you telling me that he's not a communist? Hey, brother. How you doing? Having a meeting in there, comrade? What do you mean? You know, a meeting of our local communist self. <laughs> We don't want no pinkos in our country. Oh. Damn, Brad. 